Now this is a mirror image in many ways to the positions that we achieved on the backswing and the downswing where the club is parallel to the ground, it should also be parallel to the ball target line again. And the toe of the club should be pointing up towards the sky. In this position, your arms and hands and the club should be in front of your body. Now what this means is that the arms and hands and club, they've been working with in unison with your body. If you find yourself in a position where the arms are ahead of the body like that, it means you are just hitting with your arms through the impact area and you're not going to get the sort of power that you need. If you've ripped through the impact area with your hips and your stomach and your body, you're going to find your arms are in front of your body like that, where the club, the butt end of the club, is again pointing in towards the navel area. This is a very important point that the arms, hands and club, they're always working in unison with the body. Now we're going to talk about the final position in the golf swing. It in itself and all of the positions, both of the positions after impact, do not obviously control the path of the ball, but they're good indicators to show you what has gone wrong or right with the swing beforehand. In this last position we talked about, the head and spine are still behind the ball in the impact position. The basic aim moving from there to the finish position is to release the pressure off your back. And so you're going to have to move your head and spine forward and up to release the pressure off your back. You'll notice that my right foot is up on the toe. If you've transferred your weight through your left side correctly and rotated your body through the ball, your right foot can't help but come up onto its toe. Most of your weight is now on your left heel. Another important point about the finished position is you can check the angle of the club. If the club is down behind you too much like that, it's an indication that you've probably swung with too upright swing coming in on a steep angle down through the downswing like so and through the ball you probably tried to extend your arms too far towards the target. That's not a great position to be in. Another position that you might find yourself in is where the club head is above the hands at the finish position. This is not a great position to be in. This shows you've had too much tension in the swing and you haven't let your wrists move through impact freely. So at the, imp at the finish position, the club should be just below parallel behind your ears, like so. Now, a really important part of the swing is the body action. I'm just going to talk about that briefly. On the backswing, the shoulders should rotate at a 90 degree angle to your spine. So a good way to check that is to put a club shaft across your shoulders and turn and look at yourself in a mirror. See if your shoulders are turning at a 90 degree angle to your spine. Now this same 90 degree angle should be created on the through swing too, just through the other way. Again, 90 degree angle to the spine. And that will ensure that the right shoulder is working under your chin, like so. Instead of, what a lot of players will do is come from the top of the backswing here, they'll come over the top with the right shoulder. The right shoulder is working over their chin like that. Instead of having 90 degree angle on the backswing, 90 degree angle on the through swing, and the right shoulder is working underneath the chin, like that. Now to get this perfect swing, you're going to have to practice it. Start with the grip and setup, and work through all of the positions in a very slow manner, stopping at each one and checking all of the different points that we've discussed. Now, when you go through them, Make sure that you stay very relaxed. And start off very slowly, building up the speed. Of course, work through all the positions in the downswing and really feel where each position is. Once you've got that going a little bit, you can move in to hitting normal full shots. Make sure that you make your swing fluid, relaxed, and very balanced. 
hold the in position for a few seconds to make sure you've hit a balanced shot. And of course, check the position where you're hitting the ball. And remember, practice makes perfect. <laughs>